You know, with this pandemic, it's no surprise that Colorado crisis services have been receiving far more phone calls and text messages from people who are in need of help. Well, Denver 7's Lance Hernandez talked to the director of the Office of Behavioral Health about the increased demand and just what that means. Colorado crisis services has seen a 33% jump in calls and text messages since the pandemic began. If you have an urgent behavioral health need and would like to be connected to a crisis clinician. In October, they fielded 25,000 calls compared to 15,000 in October 2019. Everything from depression, um, struggling with social isolation, struggling with um, sort of um, <clears throat> anxiety around the pandemic or anxiety around life in general, uh, all host of reasons. Dr. Robert Worthwine at the Office of Behavioral Health says crisis services includes a crisis hotline, mobile services, stabilization units, walk-in centers, and respite services. Is there enough staff to meet the demand? No, at first there wasn't. We've added more resources since then um, and provided uh, more funding to the Rocky Mountain Crisis Partners so that they could um, adjust it away. They've added 80 staff. Michael Gallagher says more funding is needed. He's been using crisis services for years. I know the crisis system, it needs support. It is saving lives. It is immense grief going on out there. Gallagher has had suicidal ideations. He's learned a great deal about suicide to help himself. He says having a pet python Helps. It's almost like I can't die because this, this means so much to me. He wants people to know that crisis line calls are prioritized. Dr. Worthwine says everyone gets checked in, but calls involving safety are taken first. We just ask for a little bit of patience. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than it did before the pandemic, but we will have someone answer for you. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.